to understand stoichiometry in chemistry, look at the following example. We need an apple, two bananas, five strawberries to make a dish of fruit salad. How many bananas do you think we need if you want to make two dishes of the same fruit salad? Welcome to Schooler, your online school. You may check your understanding by solving the end of the questions. And good luck. Stoichiometry is the branch of chemistry that deals with the quantities of substances in a chemical reaction and how these quantities are related to each other. Like here in the following reaction between carbon monoxide and iron oxide to produce carbon dioxide and iron. Before we start doing any calculations regarding stoichiometry, keep something in your mind that we should balance the chemical reaction. Don't worry if you don't know how to balance chemical reactions because I kept a link for you in the description to show you how to balance chemical reactions. So we start balancing by multiplying iron by 2, then carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide by 3. And now it's balanced. It's very important to balance chemical equations, since balanced chemical equations work like a recipe. It shows the proportions of reactants and products. Like here we have 3 moles of carbon monoxide reacts with 1 mole of iron 3 oxide to produce 3 moles of carbon dioxide and 2 moles of iron. In case we have 6 moles of carbon monoxide, then we need 2 moles of iron 3 oxide. 6 moles of carbon dioxide are going to be produced and also 4 moles of iron are going to be produced. Imagine that you have 1.5 moles of carbon monoxide and you want to calculate how many moles of iron are produced. Here we should find a relation between carbon monoxide and iron and this relation can be taken from the balanced chemical reaction. As we can see from the balanced chemical reaction that 3 moles of carbon monoxide will give 2 moles of iron. Now 1.5 moles of carbon monoxide will give us how many moles of iron we can solve it in a mathematical way by doing cross multiplication and we write number of moles of iron it's equal to 1.5 times 2 divided by 3 and the answer is going to be 1 mole of iron. But the recommended way of solving is by putting the given which is 1.5 moles of carbon monoxide multiplied with a fraction in the denominator we put carbon monoxide with its coefficient from the balanced reaction in the numerator we put the amount that we want to calculate which is the moles of iron with its coefficient also from the balanced chemical equation we multiply 1.5 by this fraction which is called mole ratio and this mole ratio is very important since we're going to use it in all of our stoichiometry problems and then the answer is going to be one mole of iron by cancelling the matching units in the numerator and in the denominator. Let's start with our first exercise. If 0.2 moles of propane are burned according to the following reaction, how many moles of carbon dioxide and water are produced and how many moles of oxygen are needed? And since here the given quantity is in moles and the quantities that are required to calculate are in moles, this exercise is called mole more problem and all mole mole problems are going to be solved in the same procedure. And always keep in mind, before we start calculating, we should balance the chemical reaction. To balance this chemical equation, we multiply carbon dioxide by 3, then water by 4, and then oxygen by 5. And as I mentioned earlier, balancing is very important. Without balancing, all your calculations are wrong. Let's start with part A. We write the given 0.2 moles of propane, we multiply it with a fraction. In the denominator, we put the same unit as the given amount, which is moles of propane. In the numerator, we put the unit of the amount that we want to calculate, which is in this case, moles of carbon dioxide. And the numbers in the mole ratio, we get them from the balanced chemical equation. The coefficient next to carbon dioxide is a three. The coefficient next to propane is one. And by the way, this fraction is called conversion factor. And from now on, in all our psychometric exercises, we are going to use conversion factors. 
then we cancel the matching units between the numerator and the denominator and the answer is going to be 0.6 moles of carbon dioxide in part b also we start with the given 0.2 moles of propane we multiply it with a fraction since we have moles of propane in the given we put moles of propane in the denominator and the amount required is moles of water so you put moles of water in the numerator we get their coefficients from the balanced chemical equation 4 next to the water molecules and 1 next to the moles of propane we cancel the matching units and the answer is going to be 0.8 moles of water part C with the same procedure 0.2 moles of propane multiplied with a fraction moles of propane in the denominator they are asking about oxygen so we put moles of oxygen in the numerator we get their coefficients from the balanced chemical equation 5 next to the moles of oxygen 1 next to the moles of propane we cancel the matching units and then we do the math the answer is going to be 1 mole of oxygen let's solve one more exercise quickly how many moles of octane and oxygen are needed to produce 0.9 moles of water we balance the chemical equation first by multiplying octane by 2 carbon dioxide by 16 water molecules by 18 and then oxygen molecules by 25 we start with the given 0.9 moles of water we multiply it with a fraction moles of water in the denominator the question about octane so moles of octane in the numerator the coefficients we get them from the balanced chemical reaction 2 next to the octane 18 next to the water we do the math we cancel the matching units and the answer is going to be 0.1 mole of octane the second part also we start with the given 0.9 moles of water we multiply it with a fraction moles of water in the denominator the question about oxygen so we put moles of oxygen in the numerator we get their coefficients from the balanced chemical equation 25 next to oxygen 18 next to water molecules we do the math we cancel the matching units and the answer is going to be 1.25 moles of oxygen so as i told you we always solve stoichiometric questions by using convergent factors i'll keep a link for you in the description to show you how to write the convergent factor and now you are ready to solve the end of video questions please if you are not repeat the video again otherwise solve the questions put your answer in the comment section if you have any question that i didn't cover in the video please share it with me in the comment section share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more videos see you in other videos and good luck